already we have Cyclone Asani in the Bay of Bengal, located at 11.6 uh, degrees north, 88.7 degrees east, moving slowly off towards the west northwest. Right now, the storm has winds of 75 miles per hour, meaning that just in about 24 hours ago, it was merely a tropical depression and a pressure of 974 millibars. The rapid identification phase is likely coming to a close, though, as wind shear is on the rise, which leads to some short term weakening. Luckily, the storm is not forecast to make landfall anywhere within the next three days. However, that doesn't mean that there could be some land effects such as heavy rainfall and rough surf along the coastal areas as the storm was going to drop a lot of rainfall over um, a lot of land in the areas over the next couple of days and week. This is where the storm is located right now, pretty much in the middle of the Bay of Bengal. It's got a maximum sand wind at a height of 75 miles per hour, and it doesn't really have an overly large wind field either. The storm's influence is very large, the rainfall threat is going to get an outflow of the storm a lot. So right now the storm is located 437 kilometers away from Port Blair, 901 for, Vis for Visakhapatnam, 921 for Kakindara, and 1012 from Bhuvaneswar, my bad, I'm the pronunciation of that, I got it wrong, and 1219, all those in kilometers from Kolkata. The storm is moving off towards the west northwest, and we'll likely see some of these numbers, if not all of them, decrease as the storm is going to get closer to land over the next couple of days. So right now, looking at the intensity estimates, the Indian Meteorological Department, believe it or not, has only just named this, and is lagging behind terribly on this. Uh, though SATCON, ADT, and the Joint Typhoon Warning Center have the right money right now at minimal hurricane strength. So right now, this is the Joint Typhoon Warning Center's forecast cone, calling for a peak around 70 knots at 80 miles per hour today. Though by I guess that might be a little bit on the downtrend of things as wind shear is rising. So I'll have to see the satellite imagery at the end of this video update to see more. Um, but it looks like that we could be seeing some intensification um, as these urban temperatures are piping hot, as you'll see just here in a moment. Um, so perhaps some slight intensification, but you can see that gradual weakening trend as it makes that curve off towards the northeast. And it, and the big question there is, does it come ashore or does it stay offshore? We'll have to wait and see. Looking at sea server temperatures, they are piping hot for the Bay of Bengal right now. 30 degrees Celsius underneath this storm, if not higher. Uh, so sea server temperatures are more than enough to sustain this storm right now. But as I said, it's wind shear that's going to be this big inhibitor for the storm. Looking at the HWR for wind speed, I wouldn't discount, I wouldn't uh, take into account that uh, brief intensification phase I had up near uh, Bangladesh, but going for a kind of one right now, and the rainfall, but you can just see just how vast that is. Look at all of that rainfall um, area that we're going to be seeing. And when looking at the uh, the RAM diagnostic plot here, you can see most of the models speaking at around what it is right now, actually, a uh, high in tropical storm, low in category one. You can see that wind shear rising over the next uh, two to three days which could lead to some weakening, uh, but sea surface temperatures and relative humidity not going to be an issue for this. But wind shear is going to be the storm's biggest foe, and let's hope that wind shear stays high and the storm can die off at sea and not hit land at all. So looking at the satellite image of the storm, you can see it was looking fairly good throughout the last 24 hours uh, until wind shear has taken a dramatic increase on the storm. And maybe some dry air might be getting entangled into the storm as well. So that might lead to some short-term weakening of this storm, uh, but overall, the storm's threat is still there, and you can just see in particular on this imagery that's coming up here, the storm's influence here is very massive, so we're going to be seeing a lot of areas that are going to be far away from the storm are going to be getting heavy rainfall from this. Uh, we'll have further updates on this storm as it pushes westwards toward the coast of India over the next few days.